The average salary of a cloud security engineer in the US is about $130,000 to $140,000 per year. And in the UK, it's about £70,000. In this video, we're going to be talking about what a cloud security engineer does, the key responsibilities, skills needed, and the key certifications that are suitable for a cloud security engineer. I currently work as a cloud security engineer and I've been working in this role for about four months now. So this video is going to be based on my experience in this role so far, as well as the research I've done on this role and similar roles. So what does a cloud security engineer do? Cloud security engineers identify threats to cloud systems, develop new security features to meet security standards of a company or other regulators, and they are responsible for building, maintaining, and continuously improving cloud-based systems. Now, let's discuss some of the key responsibilities of a cloud security engineer. The first responsibility is identifying threats to the current cloud systems. As a cloud security engineer, one of the biggest responsibilities is having daily checks of systems, making sure things are in order, and looking at potential threats or malicious actors that could come and contaminate or harm your current system or cloud infrastructure. As a cloud security engineer, you'll likely be carrying out daily checks or frequent reviews of systems, make sure that no new threats have popped up and everything within your system is in order and being updated frequently. The second key responsibility is implementing new cloud security features. If you're familiar with cybersecurity concepts, you would have heard of a concept called defense in depth. This concept is key to cloud security engineers. What this concept means and displays is the need to have layers of protection at every level and the continuous adding of more and more layers. It's kind of the idea of never being satisfied with the security in place and continuing to add more security in different areas of an organization or company, layers of security within data, layers of security within the network, and always looking to continuously add to those layers of security. This is a massive concept for anyone working as a cloud security engineer. Within the cloud space, there are frequent updates and new features coming out regularly. And as a cloud security engineer, your company will be looking to you to implement these features. The third key responsibility is identity and access management. With identity and access management, there's two things that come to mind, authentication and authorization. With authentication, the cloud security engineer is responsible for ensuring that there is multi-factor authentication in place within the organization. Multi-factor authentication could involve using a face scan to verify who you are, using a passcode, using your app, or even using your mobile phone with an SMS or a call to verify that you are who you say you are. Authorization, on the other hand, is making sure that you are allowed to access the resources you wish to access. So as a cloud security engineer, you are responsible for approving or denying access to cloud resources. This could be approving or denying other employees who work around you, who, who aren't supposed to be or are supposed to be accessing a specific cloud resource, or this could be approving and denying external users and collaborators who wish to access your cloud resources. And the final key responsibility I want to mention is incident response. When something goes wrong with a cloud system, when there is an issue or a security risk that pops up out of nowhere, they're gonna call you. <laughs> they're gonna call the cloud security engineer. There are times in this role where you may have to be on call, where you may have to get a call late in the night, or you may get a call on the weekend to fix something that's gone wrong. This is not for all roles, but this is just an example of an incident response responsibility that a lot of cloud security engineers will have at some point in their career. Now let's move on to the skills needed as a cloud security engineer. Please bear in mind that you don't have to have all of the skills I'm gonna mention to be able to do well and perform in this role. As you know, cybersecurity and the tech industry is very broad and you will be continuously learning 
whatever job you're working in in this industry. There are new features that come out every day. Things are always updated and changed around. So you will continue learning. And whatever skills I mentioned here, if you'd like to become a cloud security engineer, make sure to pick up on these things, go away, do your own research on how you can improve in some of these skills to get you prepared for a role as a cloud security engineer. So please don't take it that you need all of these skills before you can apply for a role. Or if you wanna move up into a cloud security engineer role, you need everything I'm about to mention, but do look at these skills as a way to improve and make yourself more likely to be able to get one of these roles or do better if you're already in this role. The first skill of a cloud security engineer is understanding cloud security concepts. Not just cloud security concepts, but security concepts in general. Things like I mentioned earlier, like defense in depth, zero trust, and things like that. It is important to understand these terms, DLP and many others. You need to understand and be able to follow the principles of as you're working as a cloud security engineer. Number two, knowledge of operating systems. As a cloud security engineer, you will need to have a knowledge of the systems or computers or laptops that you're securing. Mainly from my experience and knowledge, I'd suggest having a great understanding of Windows and or Linux. Personally, I have a great understanding of Windows systems, having worked with them since the start of my career. I've also had many engineers speak about Linux in cloud security, but I haven't yet gone in depth with Linux myself. But if you are going into cloud engineering or a cloud security role, Linux is definitely something to look into. Thirdly, cloud knowledge. You need to understand cloud computing as a whole. You need to know the difference between platform as a service and software as a service and infrastructure as a service. You need to know about the public cloud, the private cloud, the community cloud, a hybrid cloud. You need to know different things like this so you have a good understanding of cloud computing at the foundation. Another skill needed is networking knowledge. In security, there's a great importance of having an understanding of networking also. You can imagine how networking and cybersecurity go hand in hand. Another skill needed is effective communication. If you're gonna be working on projects and implementing new features and even responding to incidents, you have to be able to communicate effectively with those around you. You definitely have situations where you're having to communicate different complicated and complex subjects to people who are not that technical or people who don't understand the technology as well as you do. Being able to communicate this in an efficient way is definitely a key skill of a cloud security engineer. Another skill is troubleshooting incidents. A cloud security engineer should have a great understanding of the troubleshooting process. If you get into this role, as you experience more of these incidents, it'll begin to get easier and easier. Having an understanding of the core concepts and principles of troubleshooting is a great skill to have. And the final skill, which I'll mention, is having an understanding of the different portals and security technology that you will be working with. Things that come to mind are things like security and compliance portals within AWS and Azure and even GCP, knowing how to use the IAM portals with three main cloud services, perhaps even having an understanding of DevSecOps. And scripting can also be a great skill to use as a cloud security engineer. Now for the suitable certifications for a cloud security engineer. There are many certifications out there, but I'll just mention a few that have caught my eye and that I'll potentially take in the future for people in the similar roles as me and at other companies. These are certifications that they've looked at and the ones that I've seen most commonly appreciated. Microsoft certifications would be the SC900, which is the Security, Compliance and Identity Fundamentals exam. This is a great start with Microsoft security certifications. So if you're just starting out with Microsoft security, that is the one to start with. I made a video on this one and I'll put that link up now and you will see the link in the description as well. Another one would be the Microsoft 365 Security Administration certification. And this certification will be retired in June. So perhaps not for everyone, but some people will still go ahead and take that regardless of whether it's being retired or not. It doesn't take away from it being on your resume. Personally, I'm not going for it and I wouldn't go for it at this point uh, because I feel like if it's retired, then what's the point? But each to their own. If you feel like you still wanna get that on your CV before it gets retired, 
then go ahead and do that. Another one would be the AZ500, which is the Microsoft Azure Security Technologies certification. This is one that I definitely may take in the future. It covers all things Azure security, so it's definitely something to be looking into. Great certifications for cloud security from AWS would be things like AWS Certified Security Specialty and the AWS Certified Solutions Architect. Both of these would cover a lot of security features and security solutions within AWS. GCP also have the Google Cloud Certified Professional Cloud Security Engineer. Another big one from ISC Squared would be the Certified Cloud Security Professional. And also I have to mention the CompTIA Security Plus can also be helpful for this area. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram. The links are in the description. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.